Developing news on the coronavirus tonight. The CDC confirms a coronavirus case in New England. Coming up, how our state is preparing for the outbreak and what we know about the Boston patient. And we're tracking relatively quiet weather for the second half of the weekend. But as we look toward next week, it gets active. We'll have your forecast. From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11. And first up at 11, we're following developing news on the coronavirus. We're learning more about the confirmed case of coronavirus in Boston. This after the first person in New York City has been identified for testing for the deadly virus. Thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Kevin Hogan. Concerns over the coronavirus continue to grow tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is joining us live right now from the newsroom. Shante, how is our state preparing for this global outbreak? Well, Kevin, Governor Ned Lamont revealed he took part in a call with all U.S. governors to develop a national response with the White House. We've learned the State Department of Public Health is working closely with health care professionals to coordinate a response while receiving updates from hospitals. In a series of tweets today, the University of Massachusetts Boston confirmed a student tested positive for the novel coronavirus. University officials shared he went to campus once, visiting health services immediately. Public health officials say the man in his 20s returned from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the deadly virus. This latest patient marks the eighth case in the U.S. In New York City, leaders anxiously wait for the testing of a patient, begging the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to help in the effort. So I know the CDC has its hands full, but it would actually help everyone. It would also help the CDC to authorize New York City to do this testing. This is the premier public health apparatus in the nation. We could help move on these issues more quickly if we had the capacity to test. Grant us that ability. That's my plea to the CDC. These developments follow the announcement of two people in Connecticut being tested for the coronavirus. The results for a Wesleyan University student and a high school student from China who participated in an event at Yale University came back negative, but they both have the flu. Tonight, Eyewitness News spoke to people who say they're keeping a watchful eye on this rising global health threat. It's a virus that we don't know about. It's really concerning, you know, because you're trying to take care of yourself, especially when you have kids. DPH tells Eyewitness News it's monitoring the situation very closely while saying the risk to people contracting the virus remains low in Connecticut, as did Massachusetts public health officials say the same there. Symptoms of coronavirus mirror the flu, including a runny nose, cough and fever, among other signs. The CDC believes symptoms may appear in as few as two days or as long as two weeks after exposure. Public health officials are urging people to wash hands often, avoid touching eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands, while cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched items and surfaces. And as for the Boston student, he's currently in isolation. There is neither a vaccine nor treatment available. But the key point for a lot of healthcare experts, washing your hands and properly covering sneezes and coughs are some of your best defenses against spreading any respiratory virus. In the newsroom, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.